Hey everybody, welcome and thank you for tuning in to The Skeptic and the Psychic with Shay Carroll and Psychic Gen B. Come join us every Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific. Expressed in this podcast by the host and or the guest do not necessarily reflect the views of the host and or Paranormal Buzz Radio and or its sponsors. Use of any material produced by Paranormal Buzz Radio without express written consent is prohibited. Paranormal Buzz Radio will not be held responsible for you holding your knees, crying and rocking in a corner in a puddle of your own urine, or being beheaded by a group of children in a cornfield. In fact, if you come across a group of children in a cornfield, we promise to make fun of you as you run away screaming in terror. Listener discretion is advised. Welcome to the Scott Skeptic and the Psychic, 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 Psychic for episode Cinco, Cinco, Cinco. Shay, what's shaking bacon? Not me. <laughs> Poor Shay. Y'all, if you can see her, she looks like she's got an investigator's hangover. Uh, I got I got sleep paralysis while I'm wide awake. <laughs> that might be a little inconvenient sometimes. Yeah, you know, yeah. such is life. Such is life of a paranormal investigator. You know, I know what that that hang that investigator's hangover feels like from See, I don't the one and only paranormal hangover. I just, but you I'm, consider? I'm fucking exhausted, but I was exhausted before I left, so I already set. I already swore. <laughs> But we, but we got the out extra hour of sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Guess it that doesn't extra count. extra hour helped me time travel last night. Yep, that's right. Instead time of, traveled. Instead of two hours to get home, it only took me one. There you go. See? Time change is beautiful. Did everybody remember it's the time change? I hope so. I hope so. You so... Wait, before I said this to you before. Let me rudely interrupt you once. No, go for it. <laughs> I'm sure it won't be the last time, but um, it's all right. I said to you, the time change messes everybody up, anyways. But this happened when we changed it in the spring too. <coughs> Excuse me. We both coughed at the same time there. All right, we are like synchronizing up. Like since we've been on Skype together, it's starting to get a little weird. It is. But um, before I forget, let me finish my thought, because you know me. <laughs> so, it's even weirder when you're driving home from an investigation, and all of a sudden, it's the time, it's like, it's not even when you left yet. I'm like, I'm like what is going on? What is the it's clock feels- doing to me? Yeah, well, um, I guess I was gonna- very wrong, because we left at one thirty. Yeah, so we left at one thirty in the morning, 
but then at two o'clock it goes back to one and to quote the mad hatter the time the time who's got the time not me <laughs> oh man well hey kim thank you for being the first in chat wolf thank you for joining us i'm assuming but you know what happens when you assume you make an ass out of you and me but i'm assuming maddie is in listening to us he's um he had something to do tonight i don't unacceptable he's probably still listening but i just remember when you wanted him to be on the show, he's like, I can't this Sunday. And I'm like, well, Jen's not around next Sunday. And he's like, perfect then. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, Matt, we will get you on and we will have our way with you. Yeah, he will. He just something. Um, he's a busy guy. So. Always busy. So, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in tonight. I'm super excited. I get to interview Hello, Shay. Hello, Adam. I get to uh, interview Shay again in regards to a paranormal investigation. You, you I've say, decided. Like, you're so excited. You've been. You, I knew. I was an investigated. You have interviewed me like six times now. Well. Okay, I well, I was telling Shay in chat, I, I, we were messaging earlier today, and I said, every single time you go on a paranormal investigation, I think I should um, interview or we should talk We should talk about it. And she said, then she has the audacity to tell me she's done for the winter. And I said, that's unacceptable. No, I said, pretty much done. If okay, as long as you're not done. We'll do a couple more, and then we'll take a couple months off. I've gone and investigated outside in December before. See, because you are a true seeker of the truth. I'm something. (laughs) Oh, man. I wish there was some sort of paranormal investigating team here that I could become a part of. There isn't one. I have emailed and emailed. I've looked. I've Googled. I've um, Facebook searched. I've reached out to, I mean, I'm not driving an hour and a half to Sacramento to paranormal investigate. I'm sorry. I know there's ghosts where I live, so I don't understand why there isn't a team here, but Make a team. I don't want to be in charge. That's what I say every day of my life. Being in charge of being in charge of my family is enough. I don't want to be in charge of somebody else. <laughs> what was that? that? Cat, no, that wasn't. Just... No, your cat didn't move. What was that? Either Kate came in or Devin went out. So when they opened the door, it sucked this door. I think. Was it like a door rattling? She's trying to debunk it. Did everybody else hear it? There's no I... activity. Oh, shush! There's no activity. Stop squashing my dreams, Shay. Your dreams would affect me and my family if there was paranormal activity here. So dream a dream somewhere else. Casper is a friendly ghost. What if Casper or a Casper-like entity, a friendly ghost, came and you could say, Hey, please turn the light off for me. And they did. That would be cool, right? What is that saying? Don't shit where you eat? Yeah. Yeah. They can go visit my neighbors. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I mean, I think there's activity all around us, but nothing really happens here. Um, I'm very sarcastic, but I, I do believe there are spirits all around us every day. And some places are just more active than others. And after living nine years in a very active place, I'm very happy there's no activity here. So, I want to come back around to you living oh, somewhere girl, active. For, I'm saying hi to her right now. She, well, she says, not, yeah, they heard the thump. She is, she's not an official member of our team. She has her own team, but she joins us quite a bit. So, she's like one of the sisters. Sisters. She's a sister. Well, yay, Carrie, thank you for coming back. So was she with you guys last night? First of all, where did no. you guys, what, I heard a thump again. Yeah, it's the, just the door. 
And the cuckoos. The what? The cuckoos, the ghosts. <laughs> I love ghosts. How do you do, say, do, 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 oh, do, 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 loco. Do. I don't even have to ask. Loco. Crazy. You. Do loca. I almost loca. just said your last name on air. Do as loco say, wada. Yeah. <laughs> I we called you the to, crazy white girl. <laughs> um, first, you in, you just asked like three questions in a row. Carrie was not able to make it with us yesterday. She went on the last two at the to the asylum with us, and she's got, we're trying to get together one last time in November. Um, to get together, she's working nights right now. Carrie, I'm glad you joined us for this episode because yesterday was pretty good. We went to um, Rutland Prison Camp in Rutland, Massachusetts. And if you would like to see photos, Shay has already posted some photos on Instagram. Um, yeah, it's just paranormal too. And it's just paranormal on Instagram or well, on Facebook. Facebook. Um, just paranormal on Facebook is where I got those ones up, and um, my Instagram is Sherry Ann Carroll, or With you can just put or just put in Shay. With two R's and one I, Sherry Ann Carol, one word, two R's in Sherry Ann, two R's in Carol, two L's in Carol. Because I actually, I'm pulling up your Instagram right now. Um, so this was, this is Rutland Prison Camp Cemetery in the memory of the 59 inmates interned on this site from 1910 to 1933, restored by Michael Gordon Troop. 141 BSA, the Rutland Historical Society, and the Metropolitan District Commission in 1995. So it looks like it's out pretty much in the open. That is actually a cemetery that's um, 10, 15 minutes away. Okay. Um, from... That better be a person. So loud. Um, <laughs> <laughs> creaky doors, on, creaky door. doors. Next time, hi Devin. Devin can God damn hi, kids! Devin. Oh, they're saying hi to you. I got headphones. You couldn't hear you. I know. Um, yes, that is the cemetery. I think it, it's a good ten minutes away from the actual camp. But we went there first, um, and they never had any markers. No markers at all, and. The, the people you just listed actually went in um, and put up all those wooden crosses for each oh, one. Oh, nice. You know what the weird thing is? I don't see. Oh, there's the wooden crosses. Yeah, there's they're hard the to see picture. because they're old. Um, what was it from 2005? Is uh, oh, is it in 2005? I think so. It says on the placard. I think that's when it was. Oh, 95, 95. 95, sorry. Um. In front of most of the graves, if you look at the pictures really close, it's mm -hmm. all sunken mm -hmm. in. So it looks like somebody, they didn't, but it looks like somebody dug out all the graves. It just happens to be they're all sunk in in front of the crosses. Yeah, so that has to be where the ground settled. Now, were they buried in any sort of, like, enclosure, or were they just perhaps wrapped in gauze and... Laid I, honestly, straight I don't into the know. earth. I'm assuming they put them in something, probably just wooden boxes. But I'm, I'm assuming they're in something, but I do not know. Sorry. All right. So you guys headed out there and you investigated Saturday evening slash Sunday morning slash um, time change. Uh, no, we got there at, uh, a little before 3 p.m. On Sunday afternoon, excuse me, Saturday afternoon. Yeah, we were there from like, um, it was either 2.30 or 3 o'clock when we got there and we left at 1.30 in the morning. Luna joined us. Sorry, that was random. And I also want to say that Kim said I could be on her team if I moved to Iowa. Kelly is trying to get me, Kelly McCarville is trying to get me to move to Iowa too. <laughs> If they get me to move there, you know that you're next, right? I'm not fucking moving to Iowa.
I love I'm you, a- Kelly, but I'm not moving to Iowa. Kelly and Kim want us to move there. I, I love Kim, too. I'm still not moving to Iowa. They spelled Jen wrong. They put two N's. I don't know if I can handle that. I probably will <laughs> never move out of New England, though. That's why. Hi, Mal. So, so Hi, what? Hey, Mal. Yeah, Mallory, join us, too. So what drew you to this place? What made Cis Paranormal go there? Have you been there before? Yes. Um, we investigated in early, I shouldn't say early, I don't remember, sometime mm-hmm. in 2015. Okay. So Now, did, did you have, it sounds like you, you had activity last night. Did you have any activity in 2015? I know you like to go back multiple times, even if you don't have activity the first time. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, we, um, we love doing, this is one of the longest it's taken us to actually get back somewhere. And mm-hmm. it's actually on my list. It's number six in my favorite locations. I actually, everybody in the chat knows me. They know I'm dumb, but um, not dumb. I can't remember what happened and what didn't happen. And I honestly, I did not have time to look it up today. Um, I lost everything, all the files and everything. Um video, you know, all that stuff in the fire. I do remember that Aaron... Along with your marbles? Oh, I didn't have them. <laughs> then. I know Aaron heard a disembodied voice um, there. In 2015? And, yeah, and that's all I remember. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I uh, started to look, and then I've had a very long day, so... But I have stuff to talk about today. Where'd you go? Uh, oh, I knocked down is. the I knocked down the little um, oh. volume control for my speakers because I'm adjusting my feet and placing them in, on a footrest on the woofer. <laughs> the woofer, woofer, woofer. Uh, I don't know what I was gonna ask. <laughs> Tonight, Shay is playing the role of the guest, and Jen is trying to play the role of the interviewer. Let's see how this goes for both of them. (laughs) Well, okay. So this is the thing about disembodied voices. Like, I kind of randomly hear them everywhere I go. So I find it. It's not a disembodied Mm -hmm. voice. I know, it's weird. Like, today I saw a car. I swear to God there was somebody in the car. I parked next to it. I get out and I look in the car and there's nobody there. And I know nobody got out because I would have heard them get out of their car. And I was just like, motherfucker, step close enough to these people's car to see if they had a dog in the car. It's just like, all right. So, there's, you know, then I go to the, the, the healing arts fair, go inside and literally see shit walking around. And I'm like, okay, lots of energy here today. Yay. But, okay, so moving past that. Do you remember what Aaron heard it say? Was did he make it out? Squirrel. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was a hey or a hello. I think it was a hey. Okay. I could message him, but I don't feel like it. Nah, it's it's fine. We're we're moving forward to we're fast forwarding now to 2018. Did you hear any disembodied well, voices? We can't start in the middle no. of a story. Yeah, we can. Oh, okay. Well, then go back to the beginning. We can start anywhere we want. We can start wherever we want. I know. Um, Actually, we did. Total bad pattern all night. I'm sorry, go. We both (laughs) heard it. Same exact time. It's the clearest thing. There was no doubt. It was a thousand percent sure. Here? Last night? Yeah. You got the biggest grin on your face. It must have been really cool. It's because my cat just burped. (laughs) Your cat burps? My cat's fart. Or I hiccuped, I'm not sure. <laughs> Yet it lays there. <sighs> yeah. So what did you guys hear? A uh, hello. A male saying hello. Clear as day. Sweet. I can't wait for you to make these to um now did you catch it on a device? Did you we- catch do you think you caught it like an EVP or a camcorder or anything like that? Okay, first of all, if you catch a I know, voice, I know, I meant recording. EVP. 
No, I know, I know, I know. Sorry. We're My bad. That up to the listeners. An EVP okay. is electronical voice phenomena. It's something that is picked up. You cannot audibly hear it. Disembodied voices, when you actually hear the spirit say something with your own ears. Um, we did have recorders going. Hopefully, we caught it. I can't promise, but... But you'll find out. Our reaction so how, is definitely caught. That's for sure. So you were halfway into the into being there. So it was already sent down when you heard the voice. Yeah, we had already been there for a long time. See now, that's when it's really creepy because you're thinking, "Is there somebody here and I just can't see him, or is there somebody here and nobody can see them?" <laughs> we went and checked because I knew somebody would ask that. Well, how do you know nobody was here? Because yeah. that was, you know. The, the activity that we did have was so, um, there was so much time in between it. After we got the hello, we went and checked. We mm-hmm. made sure. We even drove, after that, we drove around the complex. We knew nobody was there. It's pitch black. You would see the headlights. Um, right, right. You can actually hear people pulling in a mile down the road. Wow. Um, and with all the leaves on the ground, you could have heard if somebody walked up. Yeah. Yes, you can. But we double check to make sure. So, sorry about that. Three seconds of silence. I thought I was going to have longer before Shay finished what she was saying, and I took a little drink of my of my diet cherry Pepsi. I know Kim's going to be excited. <laughs> okay, so what else happened? You're well, leaving. I'm, I'm on pins and needles. Solitary. Just so okay, so knows. this was in a building? Yeah. Oh, it was. It was. It wasn't outside. It was in a building. Yeah. Half the roof's missing, but we okay. stayed. It's solitary confinement, and there's eight of these cells in this oh. building. Oh. And um, the cells are they're not even big enough to put a twin mattress in. I mean, they're so small. But we oh. stayed in the one that the roof had not caved in yet, but mm-hmm. the, the, the door was open, and you can see out. Um, but yeah, it was inside. I'm pulling up the pictures right now on that would be on. I it might Facebook. be on sis. I don't know. Yep, I'm on sis on Facebook. Okay, so there's lots of graffiti there, and lots of phallic graffiti, um, as she told me before the show. Uh, if you don't know what phallic means, it means penis. Um, so lots of of phallic spray painted everywhere. There, because apparently somebody has some sort of fascination with theirs, and so I'm guessing whoever whoever did it, if they're spending that much time spray painting giant penises everywhere, must have a small one, and so they were comp- trying to overcompensate for something. But that's just you know like the Freud thinking of that. So is this like a teen hangout? I mean, obviously it's abandoned. That, that one. This building. That one is the root cellar. That's not the solitary one. Wow. So this, all these pictures that you have on Cis Paranormal on Facebook right now, these are the, this is the root cellar. Root cellar. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. I couldn't remember which one I posted. Now, did you get any, um, other than, um some really cool pics of graffiti. Did you get any other evidence or anything or data? My bad there. I'm trying to speak your vernacular vernacular. (laughs) (laughs) Um, well, for, uh, um, other stuff did happen, but very quickly for the people that don't know, this was a prison camp. It was, uh, um, it was built in 1903. Let's see. It opened in April of 1904. Most of the patients had tuberculosis. Um, they built a tubercul- tuberculosis hospital in 1907. It included the prison complex, the cell blocks, the water tower, the farm, the staff housing, solitary confinement, all that, you know, stuff. And it closed in 1934. And there was 59 associated deaths. Wow. Now... Where are they buried? Because I don't know if you noticed, but the FBI has joined us in chat. Whoa. <laughs> Shit, I gotta go. No. 
<laughs> FBI guy number 24. That's funny. Bente Quattro. Um, that's where the, the cemetery that you talked about in the beginning of the show, that's where they're buried. Okay, along with, so, I thought they were prisoners. They are. So, oh, I'm so confused now. So, it was a prison camp and a TB place? That's where they sent the prisoners with TB. Oh, so the double damned. Oh, my God. Most of, not all, but most of the prisoners had TB. Bless you, Tonta. My cat's sneezing back there now. There's Matthew. There's Mary. Mary. We got Matt. We got the FBI. We got a wolf. Man, we're surrounded by women. Um. So the double damned. No wonder you had so many activity. Not only were they in jail, in prison, but they were completely ill, completely sick. That is just... That is crazy to me. Like, I'm just like, whoa, you know? I just, I mean, God. (laughs) FBI guy number 24 says, I'm listening. (laughs) After he swaps back and forth. (laughs) Look, Benji Um, has now joined the chat. Benji is here too, as well. My goodness! Wow. So that tell me one more. This means we have two extra listens. The the FBI guy threw me off. Tell me one more time. How many how many souls are or how many remains are buried there? I believe fifty nine. Fifty nine. Okay. Um, and these are all considered pauper graves. Are there any? Is there any information about deaths where the bodies were actually claimed or were they forced to be buried there because of the illness? I, I don't know. Okay. Sorry. I, no, no, no. Ask away. We I have an inquisitive mind. We did not investigate the cemetery. We went before to pay our respects. Oh, nice. I like so, that. Um, we didn't do it last time in 2015 when we were there. So, um, but Nicole found where it was. So we went and checked it out and paid our respects. But, um, I, I'm assuming for the time they were probably unclaimed. Um, again, there was no markers, no headstones. There was nothing wow. until 1995 when they, all they have now is those wooden crosses. At least that's something though. Yeah. At least that's something. Yeah. So you there was a root cellar, which yeah. I just want to say, dude, fucking freaky, man. <laughs> that word came to me today while I was talking to you. Remember I was chatting with you before I went to the Healing Arts Festival? Back um, up. What word? Root cellar. Oh, <laughs> I was chatting with you and, um, and I, I mean, we were talking about root cellars and I just kind of said root cellar out loud. And just so you know, you just skipped your video froze. And then I heard a sound. Yeah. That was like, like, um, that disc jockey stuff. Yeah. I don't know what happened? So, I've never seen that on Ghosts. So I love excited. Spreaker. It is so, it's not a fucking ghost. Oh my god. Ghosts. Stop Spreaker being a killjoy. I'm just being realistic. Same thing. I know. Killjoy. Oh, so Carrie, Carrie saying that at one point some of the graves in the cemetery were were dug up years you ago. Know, again, there's sinkholes there, so. I don't know. I have no firsthand knowledge of it. FBI, I was not involved in that. <laughs> I know FBI's apologizing for the glitch. They're saying that was them tapping the line. Happens. Don't let Why it happen does he again. Have to tap the line. I always I share every thought that goes through my head. Well, no, I don't. <laughs> thank God. But most of them, <laughs> I do bite my tongue sometimes. 
Holy hell, that's crazy. Seriously. I, 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 uh, I you know, Benji and Brittany, I love you guys. Because <laughs> they're cracking me up in chat right now. Um, <clears throat> so anyways, sorry, I squirreled on the root cellar thing. But it was funny because I was just like root cellar, you know, kind of like, and I, I remember whatever we were talking about, I was pissed about something. Oh, there goes the timer. The that means the done. lasagna's done. Um, so what else did you, there's the root cellar, there's the cells. What other buildings were still yeah, standing? Uh, those are the only ones. Um, okay. There's still foundations, uh, okay. foundations and stuff, but those are the only actual buildings, if you want to call them buildings. Okay, so it was just you and Nicole, right? Yes. I'm going to message. Carrie's saying she did research on it, and she, um, see, we didn't, again, we didn't investigate, so we didn't do research on it. Um, it that she found that the graves were dug up. She, she found documentation on it. While I go pull the lasagna out of the oven, I'm, I apologize, everybody. It was my husband's bright idea to put the lasagna in before he left. And I was like, I'm going to be doing a show, a live show, but we got to feed our kid. I'm like, he's like, oh, I'll be home in time. I'll be home in time. No, he's not home in time to get the lasagna out. <laughs> Hello, pretty. Um, okay, so, I'll just talk to them in chat, so. You can, Brittany, okay. If she's listening. She's just listening on Benji's phone, which is all good and dandy. And I can actually just, I have, since I've chat open, I can turn it up and listen to you. But now I can't talk about you. Exactly. Oh, she knows me too well. All right, be right back. BRB! You better have BRB. Everybody wants lasagna, Jen. You better have made enough. Jeez. You, and if I keep talking about the prison camp, when she comes back, she'll probably still ask questions. Oh, here. What else was there? Um, I know there was a fire in 27. And no, I do not know if any of the deaths had to do with the fire. But there was a fire. And then it closed in 34. Um, Wolf wants lasagna, too. Um, what else? Let's see. So when she, I forgot she came here. So the first thing we did when we got there is, you know, obviously she's back. Checked for people just to make sure. Um, and so th there was a fire, you said? Yeah, I don't know much about it, though. Well, I don't remember what. what, what and I apologize. Like. I hope that um, to everybody for my rudeness of having to step away. Please forgive me. I, um, I, I'm not going to be eating. I just had to pull the lasagna out to make sure that my family doesn't have a burnt dinner. So thank you so much for your patience. Please continue, Miss Shay. Oh, so, um, oh my God. I'm that type of person that can walk from one room to another and forget why they went into that room. Was it for lasagna? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, there was a lot of shadow play. Um, oh, nice. I love shadow play. Yeah, and I I don't really remember too much of it to this extent, maybe once in a while on other investigations, but it kept happening in the back of the root cellar. Nice. And it kept happening. And then we left. We had to go for a bathroom break, and we have to leave the camp. So when we came back, we had to recheck, make sure nobody was in there. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the back of the root cellar, you hear somebody like run across from one side to the other. Mind you, you can see the whole building. You, there's nobody actually there, but for a second, and we checked to make sure nobody was in there, even though you can see it all, we made sure for a quick second, we were both like Is somebody in here with us. And then we realized, so then we had to, and then we heard footsteps. It's pretty cool. It was like. All in the same area, too, and right in the back corner. But there, you, as far as you know, because I, I, I know Carrie said she had done research, so maybe she knows the answer. I mean, what, 
other than like storing things, I mean, what else did they do in the root cellar? Root cellars are first That's storing. What it's for. Yeah, I mean, so why would you know why would I'm just wondering what would cause so much shadow play? Did they sneak off to the root cellar to smoke some grass or have some you know some prison love? I mean, what you know? Well, who's did they? To say- Hide, hide things there, drugs, alcohol. Who's to say the activity actually has to do with the root cellar or the prison camp? Could have been something there from before it was even built. We, that's why we investigate. We don't have the answers nice. to this stuff. It could be something on the land. It could be um, there was somebody accidents there. Could somebody have an emotional attachment there and didn't die there and just ended up going back there? Could there's so many questions. Like an elemental. Yeah. So an elemental, an earth energy. Well, no, you, I didn't say that. You did. but I said it, yes. <laughs> well, uh, how did it feel? I know that you don't get scared. Well, that's Sh- not true. Sh- I get scared. scared. That's not true. I do get scared. <laughs> well, how did it feel? How did that energy feel when you were experiencing that? That, um, it was a little nerve-wracking. But um, it, it didn't feel negative. Um, it, it was a little nerve wracking because, you know, you, you can hear and feel, but you can't see anything and you're in the pitch black, but you can tell, um, I, for a quick second, you think, is it a real person? That's what I get scared about. Real people, not so much spirits, but, um, no negative feeling. It was just, you know, it is what it was, you know. Thought I heard the name John, but not sure. But the disembodied voice later on in the root cellar, that was 1,000%. There's no doubt in our minds what that was. That was a hello. Now, did it coincide with the shadow play? That Which one? The, the hello voice. That was in the solitary confinement. That was not where the shadow play was. Oh, okay. Um, we so I'm ex- get a really couple... excited to hear, like, you know, like for you to review the evidence. And I know you work really hard on on only posting what you really want to stand behind. But I'm super excited about this. Yeah, we go. Um, we, on top of using the recorders, we also do burst sessions. Okay. Um, with the recorders. And again, we got another fuck. Um, do you want to what, tell everybody what a burst session is real quick in case, just in case they don't know? Oh, it's when you re- use the recorder to ask questions. Um, EVP session as some call it. Um, but you listen back to it right then instead of mm-hmm. waiting. Um, so I felt a burn on my leg. Okay. And in the root cellar or the first it started in the root cellar. And then an hour later is when we went to back to solitary and I felt it again and it, it it hurt enough where I just Nicole's like no one's here look and I just whipped my pants off mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I'm like um I'm at a prison a male prison in solitary confinement and I just pulled my pants down I think I should put them up got your britches pulled down yeah and we got a hello so there you go. Hey, baby. It was a little while hey. later. It wasn't then. I'm Hi. So, well, so did you find a scratch on your nothing. leg? Did you find nothing? Okay. Nothing. Nope. But it was enough for me to. No, yeah. I'm assuming you checked your leg today to see if there was a mark in the place you were feeling it. Yeah, still nothing. Interesting. Interesting. Um. I can mail you some lasagna, Benji, but it might be cold by the time it gets to you. <laughs> some of the stuff that happened, there's one instance of something very, very cool that happened. Yes. But it's not my, but it's not my story to tell. Ah, tease. You're I've been called that before. <laughs> tease. Yeah. Yeah, so. Well, any other cool stories? Because I know there was something else you wanted to talk about this evening. Yeah, no, let's um, skip that. Okay. 
I have a good reason. I just we ran out of time before the show for me to tell you, but okay. Well, that's okay. You can tell me later. Yeah. Um. Now, other than your leg burning, but you didn't have anything to show. You guys did have a um, audible out loud with your regular old ears. Um, a greeting. Were you doing? Were you? trying to perform some sort of burst or EVP session where you, you know, actively asking questions, inquiring if there was a presence around. When you heard the hello, how did the hello come about? Did That's you just enter a room? Actually, um, using the new spirit box, which is different than the SB7 and stuff. It's lower, easier to tolerate, sounds different. Um, but the hello did not come from over that. Mm-hmm. So, and yes, we were recording, so hopefully we can get the hello, but with the spirit box, I don't know how long, but the spirit box is really low. So we were saying hello, I'm Sherry, because we always do that. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Sherry, this is Nicole, nice to meet you, how you doing? You know, everyday questions. (laughs) Benji, I've been been to repeat it. (laughs) He wants you to mail it to him? Well, only I'll swap him for some pancakes. I like so, pancakes. Yeah, we were trying to interact when we got it. And the, what Aaron heard in 2015 was in solitary confinement, but on the other side, I think. I don't think it was in that. It was either the one next to it or on the other side, but it's still in the same. So you do you, I mean, like on a 1 to 10... 10 being, yes, you feel it was, 5 being you're not certain, and 1 being you don't think so at all. Do you think it was an intelligent response, an intelligent hello, or do you think it was on that scale? And then after you answer that question, or do you feel as though it was possibly a playback, some sort of, you know, residual energy? silence <laughs> yeah i don't have the three second rule if you don't like dead air i'm sorry but i am totally fine with that too I, um, because i think it happens i i don't know it would fit with intelligent and there was a couple other things that happened that might lean towards that but i don't have enough information yet to really go either way i don't know i mean this was just yesterday we haven't reviewed anything yet so I don't know. No, that's 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 a fair that's a fair answer. Uh, now, did you have shadow play in solitary as well, or no, did that? But it's not even big enough. It's literally. I couldn't even lay down in there. Not that I would want to, but it's not big enough. Wow, that's yeah. that's a hole. That's a hole. It's literally a hole. It is literally a hole, and whether they're prisoners or not, I even said that yesterday, and I am, when it comes to prisons and jails and stuff, I am strict on my views on it, but this was inhumane. This was absolutely inhumane to stick anybody in one of these. I mean, it's a total cement building, first of all, and again, it's not even big enough for a real bed, a real mattress, never mind the bed. That's crazy. So now, did you guys go over to, because you're, you're saying there was foundations, there's other foundations. I'm assuming it's a larger foundation, because for the, like, the hospital slash prison hospital, I don't know whatever there's you want to call multiple foundations. Um, there's multiples? Okay. Yeah, so now, did you? This time, we did walk around a little bit, um, and we went to what we call the tunnel, obviously we didn't go in and it was caving in and stuff. So we didn't go on it this time, but we, we walked around as much as we could. This is spread out over acres. I believe don't ask me how many, I have no idea. So we mostly focused on right there. We did walk Mm -hmm. around during the day for a while, Mm -hmm. um, but at nighttime when we were doing the hardcore investigating, we stayed at those two back and forth of those two locations. Plus, the rest of it is really out in the woods. I don't it's think just been, 
yeah, overtaken I don't do by nature woods during the day. Never mind. The whole woods thing are creepy. Of the woods, but I'm, that's where that's where the killers hide is in the woods. Don't go yeah. in the woods. Stay out of the woods, people. Yeah. So it's quite an interesting, and I'm looking forward to getting to do the re- review in six months when I have time. No. <laughs> Kidding. That's unacceptable. I will need. Um, I'm. Hey, I'm still waiting on you to make your videos from your last one. I have. Yeah, that's a great question, um, Adam. Do you use infrared? I mean, I, I know. Okay, so Shay actually lost a lot of her equipment to a house fire, which is horrible. Um, so I actually am all for us starting some sort of fundraiser for Shay to help her because this is her passion to help her build up her equipment again. I mean, do you have an infrared? I do not. Nicole does. Oh, she does. Your sister does. Okay. So did you take that with you guys? Yes, we didn't use it. You didn't? No. How come? I mean, that seems like, I'm sorry. It just seems like, well, yeah, the the moon's still kind of bright. It seems like a good place to use it to make sure there's no, you know, beasties in the forest coming for you. What do you mean by infrared? Hold on. Back up. You're talking to camp, uh, a digital camera. Night, Binge, but night, Brittany. Good night, guys. You're talking to camera. I'm guessing when, I'm assuming, okay, I'm, I'm sure he'll chime in here and tell us. But um, I'm assuming infrared meaning, you know, a camera that turns everything purple or gray. Yeah, okay, too. that's what I, um, the, it was so small we didn't need to, and we, our hands were full with the other stuff. I mean, we used thermal cameras. Um, oh, you did have a thermal camera? Yeah, and the R-cam. What's an R-cam? Um, the SLS. Oh, sweet. I was going to ask you that next. Like the, um, like, so that takes, well, I, you know, I always confuse the SRS, SLS, whatever, with the Kinect. They're pretty much the same thing, yeah. So did you guys see any stick figures? There was, um, briefly for like five seconds when, um, in the very beginning, but then nothing, which is why I like it because you don't always get stuff. Five seconds is kind of a long time. Yeah, but it wasn't there long enough for me to count it as anything. It could have been picking up anything. It didn't interact. It didn't move. It was just a quick blimp. blimp okay. Open. So it could have just been the camera doing its self-adjustments. Yeah. So, yeah. And I like that. I like that you're not willing to, you know, go out and say. But nothing else on it for the rest of the night, so. So how many orbs did you see? Fuck you. <laughs> I, I couldn't even say it without laughing. Like, I was trying so hard. <laughs> Mama mia. <laughs> I was trying so hard to be straight face. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> we were Sorry. talking about that last night. I always joke around about it. I'm like, man, we need a cameraman because we just don't have enough hands. But then again, neither one of us care to be. That's the other thing. We get little snips. And, we don't do documentaries. We don't need to get everything. Um, some right. places we use it on a tripod. Last night, the places were small enough that we didn't need um, night vision. You didn't need anything. You could pick it up with the regular. You know, I like... Um I have a I have a unipod, so please commence with the jokes. Um, I love a it. A unibrow? A unipod. <laughs> it's really great. Well, because you know, I'm I photographer. I, I would do weddings. Yeah. I would do um, you know senior pictures, family pictures, stuff like this. And I love the unipod, especially for video cameras when you're videotaping, yeah. like your kids events at school or whatever. Um, but because the unipod, you can turn vertical, use it horizontal, but then you also are able to keep your camera steady and the unipod so much easier to pick up and carry with you because you're not having to open and close the tripod legs. You know, it's kind of like a walking stick almost. So, I mean, I am sure they have them cheap on, 
eBay and stuff like that nowadays. I'll just throw that out there. But those are, I think, a useful tool for photography in general. So it seems like it would be beneficial for paranormal investigating when you do have your hands really full. I uh, I would need a camera first before I looked into it, but... <laughs> yeah, that's true. You could also put um, your phone on it, though. Yeah, that's true. See, I use my phone a lot. It's just easier for me. Um, I have a... It doesn't have night vision. I have a regular camera that we set up to do... Um, short videos and stuff like that when we don't need yeah well and they have night vision they have night vision apps so you can turn your screen to green to yeah, see things in green and stuff um and you know they have um Slayer has well I have an Apple I know you have an Apple phone too but they have no I do not bite your tongue I thought you had an Apple and an Android oh yeah but it's not my I have an extra I've never ever owned yes, your still? Or... It? <laughs> I, I but, have it, but I, it's well, not mine. It's Kate's extra one that I use to do some well, videos sometimes. Flare makes um, for Apple and Android both. They make um, and it plugs in to your phone. It plugs yeah, into the jack. But no, they make up a, a Flare plug-in camera. She has plugs in. Oh, she has those for her phones. Yeah, and she. Uh, it can go on her tablet. Nicole does? Can, yeah, two different ones. She has the newer one and the older one. The new one, wow, uh, the battery the only lasts stuff. 10 minutes. She paid hundreds of dollars for this thing, and the battery lasts 10 minutes, and then wouldn't exchange it for it because she didn't keep the box. Oh, not cool, Flair, not cool. No, Flair, you suck. That's not cool. I it's understand defective. you're supposed to keep the box, but it's the same day she got it. You know, it won't hold a charge. She's not the only person. If she was the only person and threw her box away, okay. But this is something that a lot of people are having issues with, the brand new version of it. The battery life stays. I mean, you you charge it, and then as soon as you turn it on, it's already at like 50%, 60%. What? Yeah, and so. But yeah, she that's... does have two of them, so. Well, that's so cool. That See, that's a handy gadget. I'd be pissed AF if I bought one of those. They're probably like six, seven hundred bucks. Depends on which one you get. I don't know how much I didn't pay for it. I know the first one was over 300 That I do know. See, that'd be a fun toy to have, I'll tell you. But I'm not. I don't. Want, I'm not a paranormal investigator. I think so. I convinced her to let me get mace. Well, sorry, New Hampshire pepper spray. Because everybody keeps saying I'm not allowed to have it, and when everybody in your life says no, 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 you shouldn't own it. But she's thinking about it. She's like, maybe that is a good idea. Why do you want her to get pepper spray? Because I'm afraid of wild boars and porcupines and bears and Michael Myers coming out of the woods at night. My brain's gone. I'm thinking if you just Michael Myers, <laughs> if you bought, which would you, I don't know how expensive that. Yeah, I mean animals are normally more afraid of you, I, but I agree. If you're going to be in the woods, there, you know, I chances kind of, of a killer. Bear. I'm more afraid of bears. Um, we do have bears out in this area. Um, stuff like well, that. I wouldn't use they're it hybrid. on a freaking porcupine before I start getting PETA messages. I, I'm <laughs> about the porcupine. Michael Myers, I might pat on the back. I wouldn't spray him either, but bears, you know, um, stuff like that. <laughs> I would never use it on a boyfriend. Never. No. That's what I'm going to get one of those zapper things for. Oh, uh, um, I'm not going to start dating again until I own one of those. The, um, taser. Taser. Thank you. Yeah. Taser face. But yeah, I, I, next, next year when we start doing the woods, um, Kim has woods a flare. Are, are my second biggest fear, you know, I, it, it was actually a phobia. Up Dude. until three years ago, I didn't. Four years ago. Because I of... Wouldn't from, go in the woods. 
I think it's elemental in- energy. But um, Matt says lies. All lies, Shay. Kim has a flare camera. Hers was 500 bones, but it doesn't hook up to her phone. So it's yeah. one of those free holding ones. Um, Fisher cats. What the hell's a Fisher cat? Yeah, that Aren't we all- run. Yeah, Fisher cats. We. I don't know what it was. I'm assuming it was probably a Fisher cat. The only time we any of us have ever. We didn't run, but we walked really fast when we, that animal came out of the woods a couple years ago, growling the, at us. What the fuck is a fisher them. cat? Look it up. They sound like babies crying. They're vicious. <laughs> you just I spray, told me to I would look spray it one up. of those fuckers quicker than shit. <gasps> Hashtag look it up. <laughs> yeah. I didn't mean right the second. I just meant in general. Are they large? I mean, but they, because they, you guys have a lot of woods there. Yeah. So Have you never seen to New hear. England? Have you no. never seen a map? No. I don't look at maps. Uh, <laughs> neither do I. <laughs> yeah, GPS. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But yeah. We see. used to have woods here, but you know, we had all those fires. I'm on the border of Vermont. Border oh. of Massachusetts border. Well, so there's woods all around. See, I don't really know about New Hampshire and Mass, but Vermont, yeah, they they got that's where people go skiing and stuff, right? They what? have lots of woods in Vermont. Yeah, they do. Oh my god, yeah. See, woods always make me a little uncomfortable, but it's because I can't. It's 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 not. It, <laughs> It's the not being able to see what can see me that makes my, me uncomfortable. The, my so the, two biggest fears. The animals. My two biggest fears in life, and this is no joke, I am petrified of the dark. My second dark biggest, is no joke. My second biggest fear is the woods. So the dark woods... But yeah, you're, you go there all the time. So you well, that's why I laughed when you said. Time. You said, "Oh, Shay, don't get scared." Yeah, I do. I just go with it, anyways. I just fight your fears. Yeah, it's a type of weasel. Weasel. Yeah, it's a, I well, don't like them. It's a weasel. Well, those are kind right. of they're they're kind of mean. Weasels are a little mean. This fish and cats are mean. I I'm I don't know. Yeah, whatever that was. It maybe it was a hellhound. Well, you know, I I I reckon if something's gonna be real loud, it's probably because it's small, and it's gotta, you know, instill the fear of God into whatever's it feel it's afraid of. It's you know just a auto response kind of to protect them. Something big's not gonna make that much noise. Is that you know. Do you guys have mountain lions? Because we have, we have, you know, people tell lions. me we do not have mountain lions, but I'm still afraid that one of these times there's going to be one walking out of the woods. They swear now, we don't have them, but okay. So total kind of shifting gears here because we're talking about the woods. What about Bigfoot or Sasquatch sightings? And, oh yeah, I mean, because they're, they're all over the place. I don't know much about it because we have them here. I'm afraid of the woods. I would like to get into it, but again, I just. Well, that Bigfoot show actually came and filmed here. Oh, my gosh. Um, maybe about two and a half hours north of where I'm from. So about three and oh, a half. Fuck. Four hours Matt north said, of yes, set. we do have mountain lions. We do have mountain lions and that though see and that shit though they're quiet motherfuckers. They'll be sneaking up on your ass, snatching you up like a dingo snatch someone's baby. Alright? They they are not you know, they're cray cray. <laughs> yeah. They are crazy. They will be sneaking up on you, so yeah. They 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 ain't got bells on, that's for sure. She says, I'm staying in Kim says, I'm staying in Iowa. Too many wild animals in your woods. Yeah, they are. So, hey, yeah. If you ever get down this way, you have to visit me though. And if I ever get that way, I'll visit you for sure. But um, yeah, there's I, I hate the woods. Well, bobcats too. All right, guys. Oh, I'm out of here. There's the bobcats. I mean, I thought they only had bobcats in the south. I don't know. 
I would call everything a wild boar. And they say that we definitely don't have those, but they said we don't have mountain lions either. And they're telling me we do. Yeah, this is the thing. They don't know jack shit because they don't live out in the woods. So they can't really know what's out there. And that's why they are wrong when they say there's no Bigfoot. Keep it up. You guys are going to hear me throw up on air. Now they're talking about snakes. I can't look at the chat. I sent you a video of the Fisher cat crying in the background in iMessenger. <laughs> scorpions? Right. Yeah, we got scorpions. Anywhere have, there's woods, there's scorpions. Huge spiders. Shut Sh- that. All right, anyway, shark? hold on. Rattlesnakes? This is a paranormal buzz. We can, we can talk about the non-paranormal. We can talk about no, nature. No, this, is, this is an advisory. This is a public service announcement. And I'm not joking. I will no longer accept messages from anybody during a show. Nice. At all. I used to take questions from people. I will not open up Messenger during a show. So if that was somebody sent me something, I'll look at it after. Thank you for sending it. But after Friday night and all that bullshit, I will not open Messenger anymore. What happened? Oh, oh, I well, know besides what Besides Jen messaging me 15 times. Because um, I love you, baby. People just, people are just mean. Yep. So. And have no lives and are miserable, sad souls. So they decide to be mean to other people because they want to spread their sadness. And we are about spreading high vibration and, and, and that's Raised. why I decided not to talk about it because yeah. that person is not worth my time. Yeah. So we like to talk about the paranormal and ghosts, but at the same time, we are, it is our goal to spread knowledge, to, to spread high vibration information, things that are going to make people think, um, things that are going to give some other people things to talk about yeah. in a positive manner. You know, like... Picturing Shay running from a weasel cat and um, tripping <laughs> over a rattlesnake <laughs> and the spiders crawling. <laughs> I always check for bats, too. Oh, I, I told you my bat story, but I love bats. I think bats are so fucking cute. I don't even care who doesn't agree with me. I know Brittany agrees with me. Bats are so cute. They're adorable. They're so cute. I think they're ugly, so. They're so cute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find you a, one of those really cute bat videos of them eating a banana, and then you'll change your mind. No, I've seen them. I, I just don't think they're cute. They're adorable. I will agree to disagree with you. Bats are cute. Mallory's my best friend. And you guys um. have the right to your opinions. <laughs> opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. And you have the right to yours. I just do not find. So I know we've been on for an hour. We're going to be wrapping up soon. But can we get an update on your investigation that we talked about a couple weeks ago? Can we get an ETA, an estimated release time, please, on video? We want video on the tube of the U. I am. um, I still have about an hour left of review okay um, before you start so editing I, stuff together I send my videos out every tuesday and since we've started the network i had to slow way down i'm so behind on review i still have the sex the sexapades there to review too but that's like way at the bottom of the list um but the asylum i have about an hour left Matt is trying to help me figure out how to make a couple of the EVPs louder so I can get them on video. I usually do not mess with it. Mm -hmm. Any EVP I get, I put them out there. Like, this is how it is. I don't mess with the sound, but I'm trying to at least adjust the volume of it. What if you um, played it at regular volume and then played it slow-mo? So that people can put in their earbuds and even at regular volume, they can listen to it, you know, like play it three or four times 
and then play it in slow motion a couple times and then play, you know, like just be repetitively have it there. Maybe every other one, you know, regular speed, slow motion, regular slow motion. Then that way people have time, you know, to listen to it over and over without having to press rewind on the video. I'm hoping just to have it up there. So I have to finish review and do the, I think it's 40 minutes to an hour I have left to review. And then I have to put it all together. Okay. Um, I already have what I have. I already have most of the clips done. So putting it together will probably take me a while. I'm hoping to have it out by Tuesday, but no promises. It will either be up on Cis Paranormal first, Facebook, or it will be up on uh Shay's Paranormal YouTube channel first. I don't. It depends on what day it is. Well, I look forward to it. You know, just let me know and because yeah, I'm special. Be I'm special, one. and you should message just me and just let me know which one you've posted it on. <laughs> yeah. Let me think I'm special. Damn it! I know. Last time you went looking, and you're like. I can't find it. And I'm like, no, the, I, for, the, for the, this one, I actually posted it to Facebook, Cis Paranormal first before you, our videos usually go up on, my videos usually go up on YouTube first. This time. I, I like up. YouTube because I have, I have notifications set for you guys. So I'll get a notification when you upload a video. Facebook will not notify me as often and yeah. then I don't know if you saw Mallory's question. Do you guys use a spare box? You had s- yeah. spoke that you have some sort of new box that doesn't have as much background noise. Yeah, radio. you can change it. It's a spirit box, but yeah. But I, um, first, first of all, I, I don't know why I always find the need to clarify myself, but because probably because I'm misquoted a lot. Yeah, I do not happens. consider. I do not consider anything evidence that we catch. The spirit box is even a category down from EVPs, from personal, you know. For me, it's an informational tool. Um, if we get stuff that coincides with it, we'll use it in the videos or we'll say this is interesting. But um, we use it, but not quite to the same extent as other people do. I'm not I... like, this is the holy motherfucking grail of the shit right here. My spirit box just said my name. So I have a question for you. I don't know if um, this is Nicole's spirit box, right? That doesn't have a lot of the background. Yeah. Do would she perhaps let us borrow it so you could we could try it on the show? No, I don't I know if use, that's. I will not use a spirit box in my house. I was just getting ready to say I don't know if you're comfortable with using it in the house, just because I'm would be I'm really interested in seeing what it sounds like, you know, because I know what the the. It's like it's the same thing. It's just easier to control the volume on it. See, the thing for me about those boxes, if I can just, you know, being a non-paranormal investigator, but being a paranormal enthusiast. Yeah. Okay. I like when I see them on shows or in, you know, videos, whether it be on a, you know, a mainstream television show, whether it be on Viddy Space. I enjoy that they use them, but there is overuse of them. I think that they are. You know why? Relied on way too much in investigating. You know why I think that is? And this is my opinion. Do not hold this against Paranormal Buzz Radio. This is my opinion because it's instant gratification. <clears throat> yeah. And um, we are an instant whether gratification. It's real or not real, it's- it's instant gratification. You get that instant answer. You get, if you do a lot of Facebook Live stuff, which we don't, nothing, I don't have anything against Facebook Live. I don't mean it that way. We just don't do it. But it's something that you can show right away. You get that high right away. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's why a lot of people like them. The same as those stupid apps. Yeah, uh, and and see, I know you don't like the apps. There are some apps that, I, I mean, because I've downloaded a few, I've tried them out because I want to see if, you know, how, I get that validation, it, you know, that I'm receiving. You like apps, though. You think Google and Facebook track everything you say in front of your phone, but yet you're going to trust an app. 
that's the thing is I can't trust them. So yeah, I got rid of them, you know, and the, yeah. and that's another thing is, you know, downloading them. In my opinion, you don't have any educational, informational or personal experience with something until you give it a try. Um, and so most of them you why have not give it a try to use your mic? Why does an app need your mic? Exactly. It's certain. I mean, I understand why some do, but there's certain ones that shouldn't, and it's just weird for me. But yeah, if they're using your mic, that means they're listening, and yeah, for sure. No, I, I, I just don't. I don't like them. I don't trust them. Yeah. Um, no, I I, I. I don't hold any ill will towards anybody that does use them. It doesn't right. make me think less of somebody, but this is how I feel. This is what I do, and. You know, and and, I, and this thing, this is the thing: is use it, get to know it, but research it. Because I yeah. know some of those, some of those devices, they will play backwards. Yeah, well, I I've heard, I was just I've heard that. teams say, "Well, you know, oh my gosh, it talks backwards so much." Well, yeah, because that's written into its programming. You need to, you know, read about the developer, it's read what the app says. To communicate with regular words. Why? Why would it? I don't. I, that's another whole show. Apps is another whole show. We can do a whole show on stupid apps and stupid orbs, and that's what I will call it. By the way, Shay makes the name of the titles of the show on this. Not Jensen. Never hold it against her. <laughs> yeah, Mallory's agreeing. She's saying she has some apps, so she feels like they're rigged. And but they, see, that's the thing is, and you know, Carrie agrees. Until you download it, you try it yourself. Am I going to pay $10 for something? Hells no. But, yeah, it is gratifying to yeah. receive a message psychically or receive a message through a channel, through mediumship, and then get that on a recorder, hearing them repeat what, I've, what I'm saying I'm receiving or, what? you we know, or comes over a spirit box that they repeat what I ask something after I say it. I mean, all of that is... That's really great. I'm just saying that for the shows that I love seeing it, I just don't like seeing it so much. You know, speaking to to your medium that you have on your team or your intuitive that you have on your team and trying to get some validation from the messages they're receiving, not not because you don't believe you're intuitive or your medium, but it's just more validation of messages that the dead but are sending over. should be validation over. for investigators too. They can't just yeah. They shouldn't just go on one piece of evidence. That's why I always say yeah. yeah. See now I said evidence because that's what they call it. But we, if we have one find, you know, we're like okay. If we have another one. We're like okay, more interesting. So, but the more things that coincide with each other, that's when I get happy. That's when I get excited. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're, if your medium's telling you something, your historian's telling you the medium. same thing. I don't like it. And them. then you're, you're getting the same information on a spirit box or an EVP. Yeah. yeah. And Phenopinopoly. <laughs> I've got that. She's flipping <laughs> me off. You guys, she did hear me. Phenopinopoly. <clears throat> but I mean, yeah, having all of that is awesome. Yeah, I, I Kim, did you see Kim? What Kim no, posted? No. I'm going through our stuff. We can get up to so we can get it up to our page. We use eight cameras, six recorders. She has six recorders to go through, yep. four different places. I have seven on the team. I'm the one that gets to go through the eight hours and on uh, per. No, 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 Kim. That's not even cool. The, Wait a it's minute, a though. Team, it's, it's team. It's team. But, um, Jen, eight, if they're at an investigation eight hours and she has eight recorders, that's 64 hours. And I think you forget that sometimes. Well, no, and she's saying yeah. she ha she's doing it by herself. And that's not cool. It's a team. The team should be there helping Some her. Some teams you know? don't like that. Some people have control issues. I was one of them. So I'm not judging. Um. Some people I just, just have more time and they do it. Some teams see, split it up. Me, I'm all, stop taking advantage of my friend Kim. You go help yeah. her listen to that. 
But you have to ask her why she's the one doing it before you get upset. All right, but I'm a good friend. I get upset. You are. You are. <laughs> but I, th- that was my point earlier today before the show was I know you like and you get excited and you want us to do all this stuff, but just think about that. If you're there eight hours yeah. and you have three That's a lot. Yeah. By the way, did you see how quick I did that math earlier? That was pretty eight damn good. Eight. Was that right? Nobody corrected me, so it must have been right. <laughs> I gotta throw a little sarcasm in for my bitchiness. I think it was right. Sound it's sixty four yeah. sounds right to me. So and then, you know. Carrie's saying she's usually the one that goes over everything. Yeah. I, I see I don't have that kind of patience. That you ha that is something that another thing that a, a lot of people out there don't understand. I shouldn't say a lot. That's a lot some some investigators or some people don't understand if you are not patient you're in the wrong field not you i meant investigators hence why i'm not starting a team (laughs) most of you ask us all the time think of all the summer before the summer you always ask about our investigations most of the time i have nothing to report because nothing happened just so Mm -hmm. happens the last two investigate three investigations two locations um we're active, but most of the time you're standing around talking to yourself. Yeah. So yeah, see Kim, they're taking advantage of her because nobody wants to go through the stuff. Yeah, they see, just want to go for the investigation. Now go off. The stuff. Yeah. Well, fuck them. No. <laughs> no, fuck <laughs> that. If they want to come, they got to pitch in and listen to that shit. That's bullshit. They should not be pur- purging all of that off on you. I'm sorry, but that is tedious ass shit. I, you know, same thing. I know some people like doing it, but it's tedious. Carrie's saying the same thing. Who chooses the locations? The, uh, well, the, who's the question for and location? Is that for the chat or for us? What locations? Probably where you guys go and investigate. Oh, but I'd Nicole like to know I, for everybody else, too. When's Kim going to be on your show? Nicole and I choose together. Everything we make the decisions together is. Kim will be on uh, November sixteenth. Cool. She cool, will be on cool, B squared. Cool. November twelfth. Cool, cool. And then cool. my show. November sixteenth. Cool, cool. Um. Can everyone hear the train going by? Is that what that is? Yeah. Yeah. There was an accident yesterday. All right, we got uh, it's somebody was hit by a yeah, train. Yeah, I saw. Train. Yeah, that was in your area. Yeah, the, it's just um, it's not too far. It's like a five minute walk away, but it sounds. I awful. can't wait either. I I actually like living by a train track. If that sounds weird, I lived by one for ten years. I could feel the train coming before I could hear it because my house was so old. I loved yeah. that house. I loved that house. Um, so I find it soothing. <laughs> I find living by a train track soothing, except for when I hear about people dying. That sucks. Please do not walk with both your headphones on near train tracks. I can't imagine that. I I just, I mean, I haven't read any further, but I had a feeling, suicide How feeling. How could you not feel it coming? Yeah, exactly. It feels too suicide And the horn's so loud, you know, unless you were in a car with the radio blaring, I just don't know how you could be walking next to the tree and not hear it so sucks it's horrible 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 thing but you know well is there any last words you'd like to say about yeah, I, I have a couple more announcements here that I would just want to awesome make sure they have no more questions if you can watch a chat for me for a minute so next Sunday November 11th Miss Jen will not be joining us um we will have a surprise co-host. Do I get to know? Or is it going to be a surprise for me? It's going to be a surprise for me, too. <laughs> Actually, up until today, um, I thought I had to take that day off myself. So, But um, the show will go on. 
it will be on next week. Um, like I said, Monday, November 12th, B squared. Um, Kim Purvis will be on November. Let's see. Oh, this Friday I have Coyote Chris Sutton. <gasps> Beautiful. I love Chris. Yep. He always has good stuff. So in this show, the skeptic and the psychic November 18th, I did this so screwed up. I should have went through all the shows one at a time. Um, Sorry. November 18th, um, the skeptic and the psychic will have the one, the only short bus paranormal. Short busy. Yeah. So, um, and I have, you know what else is funny? Hot Kim, if you're still in the chat, let me know if I say this right. Edinburgh Manor in Iowa. Mm-hmm. Um, the 23rd, I believe, I have one of the tour guys from that place on, Kurt Miller. Sweet. Yeah, November 23rd, the day after Thanksgiving, he's going to come on and talk about the manor. That's really, really cool. Yes. Because yes. that place has all kinds of stories coming out of it. Well, you guys, we just wanted to remind you that um, suicide doesn't take the pain away. It simply gives it to somebody else. So if you are feeling like you need to talk to someone, please contact the Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255. Now, we're not affiliated with the Suicide Prevention Lifeline, but we are supporters of it. And if you would like that phone number in um, for uh, Spanish or for in Espanol, it is 1-888-628-9454. And you could also text cri to a crisis line, text HELLO to 741-741. We don't want to see anybody leave this place before their time um shay and i are both at you know very strongly feel like we want everyone whether we know you or not to stick around yes i um i strongly support that cause you know that i know you do and we had previously talked about speaking about it on all of our shows so we do apologize that it did fall away, but we want to try and talk about it um, every show. And, of course, um, just remember you're never alone. Even if you feel alone, you're not. <laughs> because spirit is all, always, always, always with you. And your loved ones, you know... Their energy is around you. You just need to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and you can feel it. Yes, I am. Um, you know that AA saying, one day at a time? Yeah. Depression is more like every five seconds at a time. So just take one minute at a time, 30 seconds at a time. If you're feeling that way, just get through the next 30 seconds. And then when you get that 30 seconds, do the next 30 seconds and reach out to somebody. That's that's the advice I always give. Count to 20, then count to 20 again. Count to 30, then count to 40. But reach out to somebody. Amen to that, sister. Yeah. You want to do shout-outs? Um. I can, I can try. Um, you want me to play the little end message where they can find us? Oh, that's how I have that new um, ending that says... You put it in? Oh, all right. Nice. No, you go ahead. You play ours while I scroll this up and see. I don't know, but it's... Want more Shay and Jen? Check out Shay's YouTube channel, Shay's Paranormal, and Jen's YouTube, Psychic Jen B. Find them both on Instagram, Shay at Sherry Ann Carroll, and Jennifer at Psychic Jen B. Everybody that is listening now, I'm going to do shout outs in the chat in a second. Thank you very much for anybody that's not in the chat. 
um, which when you compare our live listeners to the people in chat, at least half of the people don't chat, which is okay, but always feel free to join us. Um, we're not as mean as they're, they are not as mean as me, but, um, and thank you for listening later. So here we go. We have Miss Jen B. She just popped up. Um, Kim, of course, she was the first one in as always. Me and her race to the other shows to see who could beat who. I swear. She doesn't know it, but I think we do. Um, Mallory joined us tonight. Luna, of course, joined us tonight. Wolf was there. And thank you for the questions, guys. Um, Kim. Maddie. Carrie, of course, was in there. I'm going to have Carrie back on my show soon, too. Oh, cool, cool. Or maybe this one. We'll see. Yeah, I'd love to have her on our show. She, um, I know she's working nights right now through the holiday, so it might, it might have to wait. Um, we had Mr. Matt in there. The bees. We had Benji. We had Brittany. We had FBI guy. I wonder who that was. 24, Benji Quattro. 24, don't forget the 24. Oh, I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to scroll too much. I think, I I mean, chat was pretty busy tonight, but I, I actually think that that was everybody that was in there. I think I'm forgetting somebody. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking. That's why I hate doing shout outs. I mean, I like when people do it, like I like when you do it, but when I do it, I'm always like, did I forget somebody? I think, no, I think that was it. And Shay, and Shay Carroll. She's such a bitch, man. <coughs> I don't know. I kind of like her. She's ornery, but I kind of like she, her. She's the nicest asshole you'll ever meet. Aww. <laughs> Thank you, Wolf. Um, so yeah. Tune in Friday, same time, to Shay's Paranormal Chat with the awesome Coyote Chris Sutton. And don't be late because Chris has to leave early, so the show will not go that long. Um, of course, he does his own podcast Friday night, so he does have to leave. Um, he so does? He has a podcast? I didn't know he had a podcast. He does a lot of things. He's um, I don't know if this one he's... I know he's on Viddy, but um, he's, he, he's... What is he doing with... Yeah, he's on Viddy. Um, he's doing that. I, I don't know if on he's Sacred or Grounds. Or is he a guest on Sacred or? Ground? No, that's his show on Sacred Ground. No, no, no. Ground. Podcast Friday. He's with Wes. Uh, is it Scary oh. or something? He's on oh, the West Coast. So I, I never know if he's the co-host or if he's the guest, but he might. I don't know. He's he's not a jack of all trades. He's a shaman of all trades. I love Chris. He's such a sweet man. He really is. So, yeah, interesting stuff coming up. It sounds like it. Yeah. Nap time now, guys. Good night, um, everybody. It's, and it is. So, Jen, you'll see everybody in two weeks. You won't be yeah. here Sunday. Well, I'll see him. I'll see him Friday. I'm sure. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. All right, guys. Good night. And For more information regarding what Paranormal Buzz Radio has to offer, visit our website, ParanormalBuzzRadio.com. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram.